Gwen, you've done a lot of research on, on a, a bunch of different topics. One of the things you talked to me earlier about was aspartame. Uh, one of your favorite topics, I can tell already. Can you talk about that a little bit? And, uh, you know, I'm sure it's consumed by a vast majority of people in this country. That's right. And, and I, it really surprises me still to this day the number of people that don't know anything about the dangers of aspartame. But when I was researching for my book, I found just a tidbit that I felt like I had to share with everybody, even though it was kind of off subject, you mm -hmm. know, a little bit. And that was that aspartame had a very interesting background in how it got approved. And what happened was that aspartame had been presented to the FDA for 16 years, and they had denied approval. And the reason they had denied approval was because all of the clinical data showed that it caused lesions and tumors and cancer in the brains of animals that they used it on. With that in mind, the FDA would not allow the product to be approved. There was a politician that was the CEO of Cyril at the time, and this gentleman had jumped back and forth between the pharmaceutical industry and government. And if you look at his history, you'll see that. And his name was Donald Rumsfeld, and I'm sure that there are other people that will recognize his name. And so he called in his markers in government when he was CEO of Searle, and they at the time were the owners of the aspartame product, and got the FDA head fired at that time when the Johnson administration came in. They appointed a new head of FDA. That gentleman approved aspartame. Donald's Rum Donald Rumsfeld got millions of dollars in a bonus for it. I think it was like five million dollars if I'm not mistaken. And it went on to the market. And as soon as the product went on to the market, the new head of the FDA resigned and became chief counsel for Cyril, the makers of aspartame. So some really small conflict of interest was involved in that approval process. And now we find out that aspartame is causing serious health problems uh, with well, you were drinking a diet soda mm, earlier, was. and you yep. weren't aware of it. And that's what I'm saying. It's causing serious problems with highly educated people that generally know about these mm -hmm. kind of dangers, and they're just totally unaware of this issue. So how, why is that still on the market? And, and will why it, because, is it? Because people are buying it by the gallons, well, right? How many people do you know that drink soda instead mm -hmm. of water and instead of milk or instead mm -hmm. of juice or in any other beverage? I mean, it's pretty much the mainstay of the American diet. Yeah. Corn syrup. You know, I believe that's the drug that's going to kill us all, if you want to know the truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, I high agree. fructose corn syrup. But I still, you know, think that a large number of people are hurting their health. They, have, they develop Alzheimer's symptoms, and they don't realize that it's, you know, um, aspartame toxicity, anxiety issues, cancer, tumors. I mean, you just go on and on and on. Again, do your own due diligence, and I bet you won't be popping a tab on another one. <laughs>